Hey everyone, Dave with Summit Racing uh, at Performance Parts Expo 2020, as we're calling it, brought to you by Summit Racing. Uh, today we have Lake Speed from Total Seal Pistons. Uh, Lake, you got a uh, brand new sort of uh, evolution of the piston ring for you guys. Uh, it's gas ported piston rings. Interested in hearing a little bit more about that and the uh, idea behind it. And uh, so just, I guess, kind of take us through, uh, you know, maybe the benefits of gas ported piston rings and uh, just some of the history behind it. Yeah, sure, Dave. So, you know, gas ported pistons have been around for a long time. There's stories of Grumpy Jenkins having gas ported uh, pistons back in the early 70s. And of course, yeah, the idea of, of, of gas porting is, is pretty simple. Yeah, in a typical combustion event, especially in a performance engine, you're going to have somewhere of 1500 or greater PSI of cylinder pressure above the piston. And of course, it's the job of the piston ring to try to seal that combustion pressure above the piston so it does work, not just blow by. That's where the, the term blow by comes from. The more blow by you get, well, the less work's being done on the piston. And also you're getting more contamination in the motor oil because you know, piston rings aren't just compression seals. It's a three ring package. It's also an oil seal. And, and my, my background being a certified lubrication specialist and working at Joe Gibbs Racing, oil contamination is a big deal. The oil, your oil can only work as well as it is clean. You know, the best, <laughs> most advanced motor oil in the whole world that's dirty is still a pretty bad lubricant. So the thing that keeps all that junk from getting in your oil is the piston ring, that piston ring assembly. And again, back to gas porting, the idea of, okay, I've got all of this combustion pressure trying to get by the ring past the edge of the piston. How do you do it? Well, in the old days, the very beginning of the internal combustion engine, what the guys did was they built really big rings with a lot of radial tension. Of course, those engines are fairly low compression because the fuel way back then wasn't very good. Didn't have a very high octane ready. Hadn't invented lead yet. So at that point, the radial tension of the ring is what resisted that pressure from, you know, basically compressing the ring in the cylinder bore and letting it blow by. But as time goes on and you get higher compression ratios, better fuels, things like that, now that, that ring tension, that high tension ring, that means you've got higher friction, which is drag, takes away power from the engine, all 720 degrees of crankshaft rotation through all four cycles. Then someone started to get kind of smart and leave it to Grumpy or one of those guys back in the day that, to think about that. If I took some tension out of the ring, but then I used that gas pressure to help seal it, so, you know, I like the term ring jujitsu as opposed to trying to fight my opponent strength for strength. I use my opponent's strength against them. And that's the idea of gas porting is that you're taking that cylinder pressure as opposed to it being trying to collapse the ring. You redirect it, put it behind the ring, and now it acts to help seal the ring. And then with that lower tension, it can provide benefits, you know, frictional reduction, all 720 degrees of rotation. So you get more power, less blow by all the good things come from gas porting. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned, uh, it's not really necessarily a new technology and, you know, people have done it with pistons for a long time too, actually gas porting the pistons. And there's some advantages and benefits to going again, uh, with gas porting the ring versus the piston. Can you kind of touch on that? Even as far as, you know, just the, the keeping it clean and, and all that in the gas porting area. Sure. So exa exactly like you said, this gas ported pistons been around for a long time, like we were just saying. And over time, we have found there are some drawbacks to the gas ported piston. Uh, if it you got a vertical gas port, which is in the top straight down, with a uh, gasoline engine, it's pretty easy to get combustion build up, which clogs the gas ports. So if the gas port is the route to getting the pressure behind the ring to help it seal, if like an artery, it gets clogged up, now it can't flow, it stops working. So 
that that's a problem you have to overcome. And then, and especially that's really a, a big case in, in street engines. Well, a lot of street strip guys typically don't run gas ports uh, in the piston is because of those issues. The other issue with uh, having a gas port in a piston is that, you know, the piston's going up and down, but we hope it's never turning left to right. And because of that, when you have that gas port in the side of the piston, the pressure is always being aimed and directed to the same part of the cylinder wall. A as such, the cylinder wall is basically wearing unevenly. So you're going to get more wear near the gas port, less wear away from the gas port, which means your nice round cylinder over time becomes look like a stop sign right. as the gas pressure moves all around. So that's really where the gas ported piston ring, and I'll hold it up here so it can be seen. You can see the slots in the ring itself. So the gas ported ring solves the disadvantages of a gas ported piston in two ways. Number one, to the cleanliness issue you mentioned, the gas ported ring, because it is a piston ring, it is rotating the whole time. As the piston goes up and down, the cross hatch angle makes the cylinder, makes the piston ring turn and it's in contact with a cylinder wall. So that allows mechanical self cleaning because the ring is in contact with a cylinder bore. So any kind of carbon buildup gets mechanically knocked off. Number two, being a certified lubrication specialist and all my time doing uh, oil stuff in the past, I can tell you definitively that detergent additives that are in your motor oil will not clean aluminum, but they will clean steel. So a gas ported ring will stay clean longer. So those arteries aren't getting clogged up. You can get the benefit of the gas ports. And then back to the fact that the ring rotates. Now you're not wearing the same part of the cylinder bore. As that ring rotates around, it's always moving the gas pressure keeping the cylinder bore wear very even. That way your cylinder bores don't wear out too quickly. They wear evenly over time. And the other nice little trick is typically on say a gas ported piston, you may have eight to maybe 12 gas ports. I mean, you only have eight. I mean, there's eight locations putting all that pressure and they're pretty big. With a gas ported ring, we actually have 15 gas ports and they're smaller. So you have smaller area, so less load concentrated in a single area, more spread out. That's what provides better ring seal. Better ring seal means better performance, less blow by, which means better oil performance, which means longer engine life. So it's definitely the evolution of uh, gas porting. And one of the neat things is, you know, like I said, you know, gas ports have been around in pistons for a long time. And really the, the advent of how you make the jump from putting the slot in the piston to putting the slot in the ring is kind of an interesting story. <laughs> the first guys to really kind of do it were some NHRA super stock and stocker guys where they have to run the factory ring grooves. And the rule book says you can't run a gas ported piston. So typical racer fashion, yep. it's what the rule book doesn't say is it's really important. So hey, let's put the gas port in the ring instead so we can still get the benefits of gas ports. And then over time, somebody eventually said, you know, those things work really good. We get better performance when we're having gas ports in the ring versus gas ports in the piston. Hmm. Yep. Make it a thing. So that's kind I'm of a creative. little quick, you know, 411 on that. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned 15 ports, uh, more uniform pressure around the ring. Hey, so do you, uh, you guys obviously have a huge line of piston rings. So is there a, a power level or performance level you recommend uh, to use for gas porting or is, can anybody benefit from that? Really any engine can benefit from it. Yeah. Uh, whether it's a, a five horse Briggs that you're a yeah. flathead that you're racing, you, you better ring seals, better ring seal. Uh, so, you know, we've we've done dyno testing on engines that are just traditional, you know, 383 small block Chevys that have used these rings with great success all the way to the highest levels of motorsports. Uh, I mean, people that know the Total Seal brand know that we've been doing, you know, custom piston ring designs 
for NASCAR, NHRA, Formula One, IndyCar, offshore powered boats. So those are engines that are turbocharged, naturally aspirated, supercharged, nitrous. We've, we've done rings for pretty much every high end uh, team. And those who've tried these type of you know, gas ported rings, they kind of like them. They, they tend to work well and keep ordering more of them. So, yeah. And uh, I think you mentioned uh, earlier, at least when we were talking before, that you can, you know, you have all kinds of uh, uh, ring materials and thicknesses that you can kind of uh, marry up with this design as well. You can kind of, you know, no matter what you're looking for as far as ring thing, a lot of people say the thinner is in now, uh, but, you know, you can, you can kind of choose that, that, that ring thickness and the materials. You guys offer a bunch of different materials on your rings. Correct. So you know, tr traditional uh, ring materials have been uh, you know, cast iron or, or ductile iron. Uh, the go-to in the industry for many, many years has been you know, the ductile molly or the plasma molly ring, which is basically a ductile iron ring with a plasma molly face coat on it. And that's been the go-to. And yeah, we can put uh, gas ports in those rings. But as time's moved on, and we've, we've recognized that there are material limits. You can only go so thin with ductile molly before the ring becomes too brittle. And now it's not something that's good. But, you know, think about it. A, a thinner ring, you know, a smaller ring actually is like having a thinner ski. You know, the guys who are fastest going down the, the, the hill don't have the widest skis. They have the narrow ski. Right. Bigger, wider ski is more friction, thinner, narrower ring less friction. That's why the the highest levels of motorsports, the guys who make the most power per cubic inch are running the thinnest rings as well. They're not running the big ones. They're running the really thin ones. Um, but you can't make that thin ring and make it live and have durability with the typical cast iron, ductile iron materials. That's where we get into stainless steel, tool steel. We go away from the ductile molly coating, which is soft, which is Breaks in easy, but wears out easy because it's soft. Now you can go to harder PVD coatings like chrome nitride, titanium nitride that are three or four times harder than molly and can last tons longer. They're a little trickier to break in. You got to be a little more correct on your surface finish, your break-in oil or break-in procedures. But if you do those things, now you unlock the benefits of those materials. And the great thing is, yeah, from a uh, 564, 564, 316 ring package, this ductile molly, you can still put gas ports in that top ring all the way down to a 0.5 millimeter tool steel ring that's DLC coated. You can still do the same thing. So from that whole range of materials still allow for this design and still allow for those benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Obviously, I mean, you guys uh, are the experts in this area. Uh, Summit Racing can also help, but uh, definitely get everybody hooked up with the right piston ring that they need. Uh, obviously, the evolution of that latest is the gas-ported piston rings from Total Seal, uh, which you'll be able to find at summitracing.com. Lake, uh, thanks so much for your time and expertise today. Oh, happy to do it. You know, and one uh, final thought, one nice piece is that the advent of the gas ported ring also allows anyone with a piston without gas ports to now access the ability to have, have gas ports. So just because you already have a piston that mm -hmm. doesn't have gas ports doesn't mean you necessarily have to buy a brand new piston with gas ports to get that potential. You can take the off the shelf gas ported ring, put it in a non gas ported piston and voila, you have the benefits of gas porting and that can go for just availability, right? That the bore size that, I, that I'm looking for, the ring grooves that I'm looking for, the compression height that I'm looking for, the valve relief pockets that I'm looking for. You guys have that piston on the shelf, but it doesn't have gas ports in it. Huh? The gas ported ring. Now it does. Problem solved. Carry on. Yep. Definitely a game changer. I appreciate you sharing it with us here today. And again, uh, ShopSummerRacing.com for those and all other Total Seal Piston rings and products. Lake, thanks again. No problem. Thanks, Dave.